project manager, Chris Doherty, and advising that they have liftoff at uh, was it 401 and getting telemetry from the uh, from the balloon as to what the altitude and uh, direction of travel is and the descent. So we'll follow that as we get updates uh, to the landing spot. The uh, project team has some software that shows where the projected flight path is. And we started getting projections of the flight path uh, last week on Thursday, and giving us an idea of which direction and how far it'll be going. And those are updated each day as uh, weather changes, and uh, they can project where that will come down based on that. In reality, it'll probably be a little bit different than what the last projection was, which was this morning, uh, but it should be somewhere close. We just arrived at uh, Denny's here, at uh, near King's Landing. Yeah, Rich. We just pulled into the parking lot too. Are you, where are you? Uh, over by the gas pumps. So when we cut away up somewhere around here, we started this descent. And so we dropped uh, from 66,000 feet, which was I think the, about the highest altitude, down to 42,000 feet there now. So I don't expect it'll get as far south as we thought it was going to go. So. Which side of the river do you think is going to come down? That's kind of where we are. We hate to cross the river and then it comes down on this side. So there's Beaver Dam, that's 101 coming south yeah. from Fredericton towards uh, Tracyville. Yeah. And uh, it's under a thousand feet, so it's going to be right close to the 101. Okay. Looks like. There it is. You yeah. know, they got the parachute and the, and the payload on the other side of a rather large. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the end of it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Let's put that piece of, just, let's put this piece on. Yeah. 